All right, Houston voters turning out to elect the city's next mayor. State Senator John Whitmire overcoming opponent Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee to take control of the fourth largest city in the country. Whitmire bringing in per 65 percent uh, over the Congresswoman's 35 percent. Our Shelby Rose was at the Georgia Brown Convention Center to hear the mayor-elect speak. Well, this was a campaign watch party that ended sooner than everyone thought, but obviously in a good way if you were a supporter of now Mayor-elect John Whitmire. He took the stage around 9 o'clock alongside his two daughters and grandsons and some former colleagues of his, Representative Sylvia Garcia and Senator Carol Alvarado. Now, when he took the stage, he had a long list of thank yous while also talking about the things that he wants to see change in the city of Houston. He does see say that he believes that we do live in a great city while also admitting that there are some problems that need to be fixed. Great cities solve their problems. We will make this a safer city. We will do it by recruiting more officers, supporting the officers we have, the coalition building with other agencies. Our infrastructure will be repaired and fixed, not only streets, but water. Great cities do not boil their water for two days. Together, we can solve our problems. And of those in attendance, Houston Police Chief Troy Finner. We had a chance to speak with him about how he thinks about our new mayor of the city of Houston. I feel good about it. Um, he, he's a, a great man, uh, a lot of respect in our city. It's just important that everybody works together and keep moving our city forward. And uh, a new mayor come in with his own ideas, and everybody need to respect that and move forward. Real simple. But we still do have to wait about a month to see John Whitmire take the seat as mayor, as he will be sworn in in January. Reporting at the George R. Brown, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News. Meantime, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee conceding her loss in the race. The Congresswoman throwing her support behind Mr. Whitmire and vowing to continue her work as a public servant. Our work is not completed. This was a journey. I am a public servant. And being a public servant, you never stop working. I hope you will allow me to continue to work and serve you as I have done in the past because that is what I will do. The mayor's race, not the only one Houstonians decided on Saturday, of course. The city controller seat and several city council seats were also up for grabs. Now, in the city controller race, unofficial final results show Chris Hollins beating his opponent, Orlando Sanchez, with 58% of the vote. In the District D city council race, unofficial results show incumbent Carolyn Evans Shabazz handily defeating challenger Travis McGee. Evans Shabazz won 65% of the vote. You might recall that race brought in some controversy after a dispute between Evan Shabazz and a poll worker. Over in District G, unofficial results show incumbent Mary Nan Huffman overcoming challenger Tony Busby. Huffman won with 57% of the vote. Busby's loss comes on the heels of the prominent Houston attorney representing Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton in his impeachment trial in which Paxton was acquitted. And voters in District H deciding on brand new leadership. Unofficial results show Mario Castillo defeating Cynthia Reyes Revilla, bringing in a 64% of the vote there. Now you can find the latest election results from the Houston area on our website, fox26houston.com. That also includes runoffs for City of Bel Air Mayor and Baytown City Council. All the election results are also scrolling at the bottom of your screen there.